Breaking off the top here at 11, the Auroras have arrived. We are getting some amazing photos and videos from all over Massachusetts of the northern lights, including this one here. And it's all because of a geomagnetic storm that is supercharging the lights, so you might be able to see them from your own backyard. In fact, we just saw them from the WBZ News rooftop right here in the city. Thanks for being with us. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. The Sky is putting on a show to maximize your chances of seeing this show in the sky. We have team coverage for you. We start with Eric Fisher's Aurora forecast. And Eric, I know it's killing you to be here in the studio. It's great to share the excitement, but I just, I want to get out of the city. I want to get away from the lights. Darker is always better when you're trying to check out the northern lights and this one has been putting on a show. So what are we looking at? This has been the biggest geomagnetic storm since 2003, so over 20 years. And that's how you get a good show down into southern New England. That index is at the absolute top of the scale, and it's still there right now. So this is about as good as it can get in terms of viewing in this part of the world. Very likely here in New England, we're already getting all sorts of those reports. But I'm also seeing some pictures and usually you know, longer exposure photography down to Florida, Texas, and Mexico this evening. So this is way south and this is a pretty unusual event. How about the clouds right now? They are most steady toward the south shore to Cape Cod and the islands. We're going to see increasing clearing as the night goes on. Few scattered clouds in north central mass. They're going to keep breaking up, so we'll trend toward clearer skies. The last place to have a chance of clearing is down toward the south coast and the Cape. So as you head out tonight, we'll see those clouds continuing to break. You have until twilight tomorrow morning. This will ebb and flow. It won't always be amazing. There'll be some back and forth, but this is your best chance that you're going to get probably in a while. Lisa. Yeah, pretty extraordinary, Eric. We love it. OK, now that we know when and where, let's focus on the how best to see these lights. Julie McDonald is live at Blue Hills Reservation. Julie, we're all very envious right now. We know that you've been watching the sky. We have Lisa, so we're on the other side of Blue Hills, closer to Houghton's Pond. It's very dark here, but is it dark enough? I asked experts for their best tips on how to get a closer look. Less than five weeks after the solar eclipse, when millions wearing glasses watched in wonder, another exciting opportunity to look up and experience something extraordinary. I'm pretty excited as to how rare this particular event is. There was a sunspot that appeared in uh, 1859, which is called the Carrington sunspot. That was so severe that they knocked out telegraph networks. They caused fires across the world. This Category 5 geomagnetic storm is extreme, but could offer neighbors in New England a clearer glimpse of the northern lights. Your best bet, get away from city lights and be patient. Geomagnetic storms, even when they're very strong, they wax and wane. And you may have bright auroras now, and they'll fade away for 10 minutes, and then they'll come back like gangbusters 10 minutes from now. So if you went outside in that quiet period between outbursts, you'd go, oh, there's nothing to see. Well, Wait a few minutes, you may see something after all. But even if you don't, fear not. Phillips explains we're at the start of solar maximum. There's a period of high solar activity that lasts, that can last for three to four years. And we're really just in the first year. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have three or four more severe storms in the next couple of years before this solar cycle peters out. And so now's the time to get out there, be patient and play around with the night sky settings on your phone. Phillips, who's the author of spaceweather.com, says that the auroras can be really faint to the naked eye. But if you hold your smartphone up to the night sky, hold it there for a few seconds and then take a nighttime photo, you could be really surprised with the red lights that it captures. Good luck. Live in Milton, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.